Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what do people think of you after stalking your social media. So this reading title was actually inspired by Tay. I'm going to leave her channel's handle in the description box below so that you can check out her channel and her video. So we have three piles to choose from. Please be aware this is a general reading, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. For pile one, we have Petrified Wood with the card Friendship. For pile two, we have Lapis Azuli with Grateful Optimism. And for pile three, we have Green Aventurine with Innovation. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there, my pile number ones. If you chose this petrified wood card and the friendship card, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what do people think of you after stalking your social media? So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. So what do people think after stalking your social media? Okay, so I'm going to clear the elephant from the room first. Okay, let's first tell you what cards I see here. So we have friendship, support, fun, unity, play, breaking free, big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary and inspired ideas, rose quartz, Venus and empathy, the six of cups, five of swords, transformation, which is the death card, if I'm not mistaken, the high priestess, seven of swords, five of wands and two of cups. So there's something here about people from your past stalking your social media because we do have the Six of Cups here and I kind of intuitively feel you have some people from your past that are jealous of you, that are kind of like looking at you right now and whatever happened in your past with them, I feel like you had karmic connections to these people or falling outs with these people with the Five of Wands here where... Things didn't end on good terms because the Five of Wands is all about conflict, okay? Five of Wands is all about conflict. We have the Seven of Swords here, which represents these people being quite deceitful towards you while you had connections to them, whether that be platonic or romantic. And the Five of Swords here indicates that this person or people could have betrayed you in the past, and I feel here, yeah, you had some kind of karmic connection to them where these relationships weren't exactly healthy. And even if they did have good memories to them, it was something toxic for you and it was something that was not good for you. Because when I look at this mermaid in the Breaking Free card, we see her breaking free from this octopus that is trying to keep her stuck there. And I'm almost um, clairvoyantly seeing like, you know how they say mermaids don't like how we pollute the waters and um, not just mermaids, but how it's really bad for the fishes and the sea creatures when we pollute the ocean. I'm almost seeing this person was like pollution to you. They were like poison to you. Whoever I'm channeling here, whether this be one person or multiple people, these were people you really loved, you held close to your heart, and they completely betrayed your trust. Maybe you intuitively felt something was off with them in the past, but eventually it happened. And I feel like the reason why this is showing up here is because these people from your past are stalking your social media. You've broken free from them, you've broken away from them, and you have started to heal your heart from these situations. I feel whatever happened here, it's very hidden. It's like, if you don't post about it on social media, post about what you went through, it's very hidden where people don't really know that, but I feel like some people can sense that you're on a healing journey intuitively, or I feel like 
if you've told people about this or if you have certain captions where you're like talking about healing or anything like that or anything you went through in your captions like clues you know that could be like hidden information that's left behind but I feel like for the most part most people that view your social media don't really know about this but maybe they can sense that you're healing from something uh, because I, I feel like some of you have gone on a break from social media or some of you actually are open and vocal about the things you're healing from. Some of you are transparent about that. But I feel like there's something here about those that do know or sense this intuitively or do know from you maybe speaking about it on your social media, they think that you're very strong. They think that you've went through a lot. And maybe those that followed your social media, like if you ever post pictures of yourself and saw these people in your life in the past and saw maybe like how you stopped posting pictures of them or things like that or deleted photos of them, they can maybe see how you have become a lot more happier now. They can see the transformation that has taken place in your life. So I think it just depends on who has seen what. Because there's a lot hidden here to most people unless they were to look for the information themselves. Um, but those that do know, they think that you're very strong and they think that you've transformed a lot and they think that the people from your past didn't deserve you at all, that you deserve people in your circle, whether that be platonic or romantic, that are going to treat you with love, that are going to treat you with respect, that are going to be genuine towards you and are going to love you for you. And I feel like those that look at the situation have a lot of empathy for you because they believe that you didn't deserve to go through this. And some people that have gone through similar things can see a little bit of themselves in you. So a lot of people are seeing a transformation happen. And even if they don't know what has happened in your life, a lot of people that stalk your social media are seeing how things have changed within you, how things have changed within your life. You seem to be much more happier now. You seem to be much more emotionally balanced right now. And even if you are someone that doesn't post much on social media, people kind of sense intuitively that something big is coming. That you know, like when you're not posting much on social media, they kind of intuitively sense that you're taking action or focusing on something important to you. Like that's the type of vibe I get here where you're thinking big about things you want to bring into your reality, about things you want to go after, you know, planning, kind of like going towards that energy. Um, Because we did have two extra cards that came out. It was courage, fierce, uh, strength, fierceness, and family, and clarity, planning, releasing, illusion. So I feel like a lot of people that view your social media think you're very strong, think you're very courageous, think you're maybe now changing in a way where with this lion, you're becoming a lot more confident in yourself. You're becoming a lot more bold where you're putting yourself out there on social media more. If you're not posting much on social media, maybe there's something about them just thinking you're a bold, courageous person in general and that you're going after the big dreams you have, but they may not know what it is because I feel like people that view your social media kind of think that you're very mysterious where they don't really know what's happening in your life. And even if you do post a lot, it's not like I don't feel like you reveal everything about your life or everything about your plans. And if you do reveal things about your life, it still feels like people are quite curious where there is still this aura of mystery to you where they want to know more of what's happening in your life. And I think a lot of people think you have very good ideas, think you're very creative in some way. If you post creativity on your social media, that could be. Um, but if not, it's okay. You know, you could be creative with your captions, for example, because I'm thinking of Instagram and they have captions or 
you could just have really good ideas in some way that they see. I think a lot of people look at your social media and since they're seeing this transformation, they're kind of assuming and thinking that you've gone through a glow up, thinking that you are much happier now, thinking that you have found your inner strength and you seem to have much more ease with life. Like you don't look like you're in war with yourself or with others. You seem to have an inner peace right now that wasn't quite fully there before. And the thing is, even if we don't speak about these things, people can see our emotions on our face sometimes. People can see when you're doing well emotionally based off your face. So something about that's coming through and people think you look good lately. Um, if you've been focusing on bettering yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, people can see that kind of glow up happening. And I feel like the people from your past are seeing this and feeling very jealous, feeling very angry right now. Okay. Some people see your social media and want to be friends with you, want to be around you or have crushes on you with Venus energy here and the two of cups because the two of cups is about romance. Venus energy is the planet of love. So I feel like a lot of people see you on social media and think they could want some kind of connection with you, but maybe they're a little bit shy, but some people are courageous enough to actually reach out to you in some way. Okay, I'm really getting that. And if you have a big friendship group or a small friendship group, people could take note of that. Like if you ever post of your friends or the people you love, people can see that you're a very loving person from your social media. That you're a very empathetic person. Okay. Let's take a look at the rest of your cards. So we have the Hermit here. Some people think that you've gone on a healing journey, on a Hermit journey. Where some of you took a break from social media to heal. Or you stopped posting for a while. You stopped Letting people have as much access to you with a closed door here um, where only a few people could have access to you or with the hermit again it's like a mysteriousness where people kind of sense that even if you didn't take a social media break you're focusing inwards you're focusing on your healing you're focusing inwards on things you're planning towards and things you're working on in your physical life goals you have like the vision you have for your future is what I'm getting here. We have messenger of water. So some of you could be very vocal about your feelings on social media and people could see you as very soft and gentle. Yet at the same time, um, you know, a lot of people may think that because you're empathetic, because you're so sweet, because you are such a feeler, like you're a sensitive soul is what people think of you, but not in a bad way. That is your strength. You're actually stronger than people think. Like, I'm not saying people don't think you're strong. I'm saying that people see this emotional side to you with the Queen of Cups even, this deeply sensitive side to you, and they see you as someone that has a strength within that sensitivity. Your sensitivity is your strength. And I think Lexi the Leo speaks a lot about that, but I'm literally seeing that in your cards. People also think that you have a very beautiful face, a very beautiful heart. From at least what they can tell from your social media, they think that you're a really good person with a really good heart. And they think that you're very deep. You could post in a way where you're kind of like making your messages a little bit more cryptic or there's something about a poetic way of speaking or a deep way of speaking. People can see that you see things in a very deep way, that you feel things very deeply, that you're someone that keeps people close to your heart, the people closest to you. Some of you are psychic and intuitive and use your gifts to help others. Use what you've healed from to help others, the wisdom that you've attained from that. And people are very inspired by that. 
You've let go of a lot with the world here. You've ended a lot of cycles and unlocked new doors to new beginnings because we also have the full card. So it almost sounds like it's raining outside. I'm not sure if it is, but I feel like that's the message here. Like maybe people think that you've been through pain, but they, they don't really know what it is, but they kind of sense that you're on this new beginning here, that you've transformed in some way, that you're no longer in that place anymore. You're releasing with the Ten of Wands. Because this Ten of Wands where she's burning the paper kind of reminds me of that releasing ritual where you write down everything you want to release and you burn it. And you say, I release you. So a lot of people kind of sense that about you, even if you don't speak about it, that you're letting go of something, that you're kind of like letting go of the old and bringing in the new is what I'm kind of sensing here. There are also some people from your past that you didn't have falling out, like a falling out with, that nothing bad happened between the two of you. Like, let's say you weren't close, like people from school or college or anything like that. They could be watching your social media and see you transform and look at you with awe and hope and positivity. And I feel like a lot of people just see, see a lot of hope from you, see a lot of inspiration from you and are very happy for you and your transformation and this kind of like newfound glow up the changes you've been through because people sense that you've changed in some way or your life has changed in some way okay and I feel like a lot of people are looking at you and like I said, thinking that those that get to be around you in this new chapter of your life are lucky to have you because those from your past didn't deserve you because they can see that you really devote yourself to those you love and you have a really big heart, okay? But either way, even though you've been through this, you're strong and you're moving forward with the chariot. You're focusing on the present moment and the future rather than the past, but while still healing from the past. So yeah, there's a huge transition or change here with the Six of Swords. It's like you don't want to hold on to this anymore with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're ready to let go. That's what people are seeing right now and thinking of you right now from your social media. You're also ready to let go of any fears when it comes to relationships and love and connections and completely let go of the past, completely transform the past, and step into the present moment, step into this very grounded energy with the Queen of Pentacles. It's like you're changing from being this very empathic, loving, sensitive individual to being someone extremely grounded, to being someone that now trusts your intuition, to being someone that is more stable within your sense of self. Where nothing, nothing is going to come to you and almost like make you have a strong emotional reaction is what I'm getting here. So people are now sensing that you're becoming a lot more stable or balanced where nothing is phasing you anymore. Where nobody can come to you and make you feel a certain way and kind of hurt you if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm getting here that some people may look at you and see a lot of potential for you to reach success and long-term financial wealth with the Ten of Pentacles with all your gifts and all your talents. They think that you're going to get far in life. People think you're very talented or people think that you are already getting to the space of stability and balance within your finances and career or your studies. I don't know why they think that, but they get that vibe from your social media. And people just really think you look good right now. Like, you look like you've had this major glow up. That's what I'm really getting strongly. The sun, the seven of cups. Again, you're a big dreamer, and you think big about the things you want to achieve. It's almost like you think in a very magical way with the unicorn here on the ace of swords. Because it's like you, you think very big about your future and the things you want to achieve. 
and you believe that you can achieve it. You think with a lot of positivity. And I think a lot of people that see you on social media, they see you as a very positive soul. They see you as someone that has a lot of hope, that you don't necessarily look at things from the place of fear or worry or what if this goes wrong? You look at things from a place of courage and you go after the things you want, even if it may seem impossible in some way. And although you've had your rain, your rainy moments in life, they've watered you and you started to bloom and become the sunflower. So you're looking forward to the possibilities, to the future, to the high heights of what you can achieve. Look at this giraffe instead of the past. A lot of people may look at your social media and crush on you with the King of Wands here. That's what I intuitively feel. And I think a lot of people are looking at you and just seeing these changes within you, even in the way that you speak. It seems like you're changing in general. It seems like you're creating a new beginning in general. And I think this is the gist of what we see here. I think your decisions are leading to something good, are leading to something that's helpful for you in your life. And I think people are starting to see this major glow up and level up happen within your life. You're literally blooming. You're literally glowing from the inside out, radiating from the inside out. And people are seeing that. They're wondering how you did this, what happened to you. They're very curious, but there's something hidden here where they don't fully know. Um, but they're also very inspired by you and hopeful for you. They're rooting for you. I feel like a lot of people are secretly rooting for you. So this is what I have for you, Pile 1. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose this lapis lazuli crystal and the card Grateful Optimism, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what people think of you after stalking your social media. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. So the cards you have here are Grateful Optimism with Joyce View of the Future, Sensuality with Feminine Wisdom and Passion, Twin Flames with Soul Partner Eternal Connection, the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Emerald with Mercury and Cognizance, Love, the Courageous Peony, Multifaceted Unique Nature, Let Yourself Be Seen. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and Messenger of Air. And I think this is an extra card in this specific tarot deck. So what people think of you when they're stalking your social media? So firstly, if you are in a romantic connection, people could have a lot of thoughts of this romantic connection, but if you're not, then that message does not apply to you. But if you are in a romantic connection, even if you do not believe in twin flames, when I think of twin flames, soulmates, soul connections in general, even, I, I don't think many people know about twin flames if they're not spiritual. So you know, like, let's just say you are in a romantic connection with someone for for few of you and, you know, you're watching this pile and some people think that you're genuinely soulmates or that you're genuinely, like, meant to be together or twin flames or something like that. You know, they, they kind of see the love you share together and they think that you have a lot of love for each other. And I think a lot of people kind of see this connection as endgame, the person you're going to be with until the rest of your life. They kind of see this person as, this person feels a lot towards you, like that's how they see it. Um, so a lot of people are genuinely happy for your connection. I think that you're very open and honest with each other and think that, you know, the person you're with can be trusted. But if you're not in a romantic connection, I just think a lot of people could crush on you when coming across your social media, could, you know, want to be that soulmate to you or twin flame to you or whatever we want to label it and could want some kind of romantic connection with you, could want to have the courage to speak to you and open up to you in that way and 
communicate to you because Mercury is the planet of communication. So if you're single, there's something about some people looking at your social media, crushing on you, thinking like, could this be the one? Thinking you're very sexy with sensuality and wanting to have the courage to speak to you. Whether they actually do speak to you or not, these are their thoughts. Either way, you are seen as super sexy, like you're just seen as so confident in yourself when people come across your social media. Like you're just seen as so seductive and so confident, so bold. You're courageous enough to put yourself out there. This may be my pile of people that post more than the average person. And if that doesn't apply to you, then you could just be very bold with your posts in general, like with your fashion style, for example, or you could just be more authentic with your social media where you show the true side of yourself and you allow that true side of your unique nature to be seen. You're open, you're an open book. Okay, so that's kind of what people think of you. People think that what you what you see is what you get with PAL2. There's a lot of honesty here. But there's also a feeling of you, I want to say like people wanting to see you more if you don't post a lot with the Five of Pentacles. I feel like people want to see you more and I feel like when people hit the follow button or, you know, like befriend you on Facebook or... Um, you know, like Twitter, if they follow you or whatever type of social media platform this is, it's like they're optimistic to see you in the future, to see you post again. Some people get very happy when you post and kind of like want to be around you, want to be friends with you, want to form relationships to you here with love. Remember, love just doesn't, doesn't just have to be romantic. It can be platonic too. So some people may want to form friendships with you, but may need a lot of courage to actually speak to you and communicate it to you, DM you, message you, whatever it is. So that's what I feel here. With the rainbow and grateful optimism and the yellow and the sensuality card, I feel like people view you as a very colorful person, very colorful personality. They view you as someone that it's very joyous, very optimistic about life. And I think a lot of people that see your life through social media, they kind of just see you as this very happy-go-lucky person. And I think it's mostly because they're mostly seeing the highlights of your life. But if you are genuinely, you know, like a very happy-go-lucky, optimistic person, then that could be why too. So people think of you as very positive like you're literally so positive, even when you have negative thoughts or worries come up in your mind about your future, you try to think positively and optimistically about your future. People also think that not only are you so sexy, you ooze the sensuality and seduction from you, but there's also this energy of you giving off this vibe of wifey material or husband material and at the same time being so wise and intelligent with feminine wisdom and Mercury because Mercury is also the planet of the mind. People think that you're very unique. You're very true to yourself on social media and very bold and courageous too like I mentioned before. People think that you're very expressive. You express your true thoughts and opinions. You don't shy away or hide yourself, is what I'm getting. Um, and if you're used to, you're really growing out of your shell. You're really coming out of your shell. People may think that you are creative in, in some way. Some of you are actually creative and do actually post art on social media or creative ideas you have or are actually content creators for very few of you. And I feel like people think that you have this kind of innocent, youthful energy to you. Where I feel like this pile is my pile of people where, you know, people see you as very playful and youthful in your energy. 
or maybe even your look where you kind of give off this vibe of like your inner child is always with you you're always playful you're always speaking in a very flowy yet playful way people think of you as someone that doesn't take life too seriously even work is playful for you that's what people think of you so I don't know if it's true or not but this is what people think People also think that you have very happy connections in your life and that you're very emotionally fulfilled by those connections in your life. People think when they're viewing your social media that you're not really going through any like tough battles in terms of your emotions. You seem very calm and balanced emotionally. You seem emotionally regulated and you seem to kind of just flow with life. So some people actually want to reach out to you on social media and be your friend or say that they you know would like to date you or something like that but then they shy away from it and I feel like people just see you as a very loving person in general and a very deep person in general people see you as a person that embodies a lot of peace and has a lot of good values I think people see you as a trustworthy and honest person on social media and someone that is very expressive, as said before. People see you as someone that is very ambitious too. You have like this very ambitious nature to you and you're really going to leap after the things you want in life. You don't let opportunities pass you by is what I hear. Okay, so I think that people see you as very emotionally balanced and peaceful, but I think actually as I read into your energy, you have gone through hard moments in your life, you have gone through tough moments in your life, but I think you're just very strong and I think that you know how to overcome those difficult emotions where it's not really difficult for you. It's very easy for you to regulate from those emotions, to find wisdom from that and to heal from that. Um, and, you know, you may be someone that also needs support from those closest to you, like your friends, but you may not be the type of person that airs out everything you're feeling emotionally to the world. Okay, people also think that you are currently building for yourself right now in terms of the things you want to have in your life, like in terms of your work um, or school or something like that. And I feel like people also see you as someone that finds the meaning within life where you, even if you're going through hardships and difficulties in life, you try to find the good meaning out of it. You try to find the lesson out of it. Um, the positive sign out of it, if that makes sense. So I think that's how people are viewing your social media. Let's now take a look at the rest of your tarot cards because I pulled many of them. So Ten of Pentacles, this is what I'm talking about. I just heard securing the bag. Okay, people also think you're very loyal and protective of those you love. So you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Again, that sexiness is coming from through like this is my pile of people ha do you ever post like pictures like for example for my woman like in your bikinis or do you ever post pictures where your outfit looks very good or anything like that like even if you don't post pictures in your bikini or anything like that or like on the beach there's just something about a sexiness about you like even if you dress quite modestly and there's something about the way that you dress that comes through as quite creative and sophisticated and elegant at the same time, even though there is the sexiness here. It's like an elegant sexy, if that makes sense. And I feel like people think you look very put together all the time. People think you put in a lot of effort towards the way you look, um, but you make it look flawless. Like, that's what I'm hearing. You make it look flawless. People sometimes wonder, do you po uh, post pictures with filters on them or is your face naturally just flawless? Is it your makeup? Um, you know, for my woman here, like, how is your face so flawless? At least to other people, you seem very perfect. 
And I think that's very common on social media for another person to think we're perfect because they don't see what we see in the mirror every day. And I'm not saying everybody has insecurities, but some people do. Like some people don't notice the insecurities within us because what I've seen with people is people don't notice our insecurities until we point them out. Because I've had times where I'm like, oh, I'm insecure about this. And then the person's like, I never even noticed you had that until you pointed it out. So it's like people kind of view you as perfect and flawless. And I'm seeing this energy of people also thinking you're very ambitious. People thinking you're very responsible, very focused on you and your own growth and where you want to be in life. Again, securing the bag, <laughs> making money, um, improving your life, improving your mental health, self-care, self-love. People think that you have a lot of self-love, that you take a lot of time out for self-care in whatever way or form that looks like to you. Some of you could do a lot of face masks and post about it. Some of you not. Uh, some of you like to take care of yourself by you know, eating healthy and go to the gym. Some of you do self-care by cleaning. Um, you know, whatever it looks like to you, people just think that you're someone that really does self-care for yourself, really takes care of yourself in the mind, body, and soul. Like, I hear pristine, perfect. Like, that's literally what people think of you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. People think that you have a big fate or purpose or you're going to leave some kind of big legacy behind in this lifetime. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Messenger of Earth, which is an extra card. We have the Queen of Swords. People kind of get this vibe from your social media that you respect yourself. You are a very loving person, very loving soul, but you also respect yourself. You have boundaries. You're not one to be messed with. You know how to say things to people in a kind, I'm hearing sophisticated way. Like you don't lose your temper if somebody gets on your bad side, but you know how to set things straight with them, where you get your point across and where you are at least assertive and where they won't ever cross any boundary of yours. And if they do, then it's bye-bye. Because -bye. <laughs> I'm hearing like snip snip, you cut people off. Okay. Also with the owl here, very wise. People see you as very wise and intelligent. Yes. And you're very comfortable with speaking your truth, expressing your true self to the world. That's what people think of you based off your social media. We have the King of Swords. So again, if you are in a romantic connection, this person seems very similar to you. They seem to express themselves in similar ways to you. They seem to want similar things to you. A lot of people really look up to this connection and really think this connection is beautiful and is going to make it. Okay, we have the Four of Wands. And if you're not in a connection yet, I just heard I could be picking up on future energies if you're looking for love. Okay, if not, it's okay. I think maybe people could be crushing on you and being like, yeah, like, we're so similar, blah, 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 we're, we'd be perfect for each other. Um, so just take it as it resonates. But with the Four of Wands, I'm kind of getting this impression like you two are going to make it till the end. Like, there's a celebration of you two being together, a union. Um, people may even see you two getting married because the Four of Wands can sometimes represent marriage. But some people that are jealous, because I intuitively feel because you're so attractive, some people are very jealous of you and they look at your social media and then they try to kind of point out flaws within you. How do I put this in words, spirit? Okay, so we have the hermit and we have the moon. So although a lot of people see you as honest and truthful, there are some people that 
are so jealous of you that they're trying to find things that are hidden, things that, beh that are behind the door, that are not revealed to the public. They try to stalk and like almost find something wrong with you because it's kind of like they see you as so perfect that they don't believe that you or your life can be so perfect so they're kind of trying to find what is quote unquote behind closed doors so for example I see someone scrolling down all your photos and looking at each and every one of them and analyzing each one, analyzing who comments, analyzing who you're friends with or who you're following or who follows you. Um, like you have some people that are really stalking your social media, not just like looking through it and um, kind of like stalking a little bit. You have some people that are really, really like obsessed with your social media when even when you don't post they keep checking like every day or every week and then they're like oh they never posted yet but they keep checking to make sure um I even see post notifications something about that so it's like they try to find something hidden. So for example, with a relationship, if you are in a romantic connection, they may sing, say things like, oh, I don't think pile number two is actually that happy with them. Maybe this person is like um, cheating on them with temptation here or like maybe, maybe like with temptation here, I'm kind of getting this vibe. This is the devil card. So it's like maybe pile number two is not as honest as they say they are about maybe like how they make money or maybe pile number two is not really an honest person and they're really like a bad person or what if pile number two edits their posts on social media or it's kind of like giving me that vibe and there's I guess there's nothing really wrong with filters and things like that and I'm not going to judge anybody for editing their photos but I just feel like there's some people that just don't believe that you are like this it's almost like they're seeing you as too good to be true but it's because they're projecting their own jealousy and insecurities onto you like let's say this is a person that really wants a romantic connection and they see you being an, a happy one and they're in one where they're always stressed out where they're always heartbroken and then they're kind of like yeah I don't believe that's true um, or let's say this is somebody that just feels very insecure in themselves and how they look you know they may be trying to find flaws in you so that they feel better about themselves so this is where I'll leave your reading pile too. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this green adventuring crystal in the card, Innovation with New Creations, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what people think of your social media after stalking your social media. So please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. So the cards you have here are Herkimer Diamond, Earth Star Chakra Alignment, A New Earth, It's Happening, Keep Holding the Vision, The Two of Swords, The Two of Pentacles, Temptation, with, which is the Devil card, Waiting, The Future, Blessings, The Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. Interesting note that we have a lot of Pentacles cards and the Devil card is Capricorn Energy. Some of you could be Earth Signs and we also have the Earth Star Chakra here. Or people could get that very like earthy energy or vibe from you if you're not an Earth Sign. They could maybe assume that you're an Earth Sign, okay? I actually started your reading off at 444 on the clock. So there's something about your social media being very protected from all envy and jealousy and the reason why this is coming up for your pile I, I think that every pile here is protected but I feel like your pile is more so in the public eye because I feel like this pile of people have more people watching this person's social media like whoever's watching this pile than the average person so when I saw the green adventure in crystal and how it's like pointing like this I kind of saw a YouTube play button so some of you have YouTube uh, channels or platforms or 
are creative in some way on some type of social media platform where a lot more eyes and attention are on your social media than the average person. Um, so if you're not there yet, I could also be reading into the future energies. I just kind of sense that with a new earth here of like what may happen in the future if there's not a lot of eyes on your social media. Some of you could have a public platform on social media where you have like an online business with the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could have YouTube channels. Some of you could be creative in some way with innovation here where you post your kind of um, innovative ideas or innovative business ideas, creativity on social media. So some of you are maybe like, I even heard some of you are maybe singers. Post singing on social media or post your poetry on social media or I'm even seeing some that have written books uh, or some that have maybe not posted um, their business things, but I'm seeing some that are like influencers, for example, or vloggers or something like that where you uh, create content. So if you do not resonate with that, then I don't know if you will resonate with this pile because I, I'm definitely seeing something regarding that. But if you don't resonate with it, you know, you could resonate with some things that are said in this reading either way. So just hear me out and uh, keep an open mind and see what you resonate with if you don't resonate with anything I said so far. So... With innovation, new creations, of course, people see you as very innovative. People see you as someone, you know, having that creativity to you. You are able to think of ideas that are very ahead of your time, I hear. Even here with the pomegranate, pomegranate represents fertility in terms of its spiritual meaning. And I don't know why I'm getting pomegranate and the connection to the heavens. I don't know if it actually does, but let me just check to make sure. Okay, so I'm reading on Google and it says, it is a symbol of resurrection and life everlasting in Christian art. The pomegranate is often found in devotional statues and paintings of the Virgin and Child. Some of you could be Virgos. In medieval representations, the pomegranate tree, a fertility symbol, is associated with the end of a unicorn hunt. Quite interesting. So with unicorn, like maybe there's magical blessings that people perceive are going to come your way in some way due to this innovative creative process you have. I feel like you're able to pull ideas, concepts, creative flow from the higher realms, from the heavens, from the higher realms, whatever you believe in and ground it here on earth. And I feel like people see you to be someone that is going to change the earth in some way with your creative, with your creative ideas, with your creativity. Um, and if you don't resonate with that, then you could just be changing your own world, transforming your own world by holding this vision of what you want for the future. I believe that a lot of people think that this is faded for you. It's a line for you. You are meant to be doing whatever it is you're doing here on social media. And if you're not doing anything career-wise on social media and it's more so hidden, people could just see you as a very ambitious person where you're going to create a lot of changes in your life from following your ambition, from putting your ideas out there, from, yeah, like making the right choices in life with the two of swords. And if you are a content creator, then people think that this is the right choice for you. It is in alignment with who you are and who you are meant to become. And I feel like here with the diamond, you know, the journey isn't exactly easy is what people think. It's a very... It's a, it's a journey that takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there, to continue with being consistent towards it with all the earth energy here. Whatever this is, it 
I'm hearing it has kind of restricted you in a way where you've been waiting, where you've been patiently waiting. But once you learn that lesson of restriction and that lesson of patience, you're going to find that as you continuously walk towards what you want in life, that decision is going to pay off. And those challenges are going to turn you into the diamond you are, put you into alignment with the blessings you are meant to receive. When you continue to go down this path in consistency and in patience. So people see you as someone that is meant to be on this path. People see you as someone extremely grounded and rational. Like you're a rational thinker. You make very good decisions for yourself. You're very business minded. You put a lot of time and effort towards your social media. People think you look very put together and you look like you put in a lot of time and effort into whatever you post. A lot of thought and attention to detail. People think you're very detail orientated is what I hear. And people also think that you're going to create a lot of financial stability and balance in your life from all these qualities and traits you have. People are thinking that you're going to create a lot of abundance from this, from all these traits you have. People are waiting to see the future blessings that may come into fruition from this transformation that happens. And people think that you're very tempted to go after this. You're like, almost like, I want to use the word lusting after this, hungering for this kind of transformation, okay? And that you deserve it, that you really deserve life's blessings, uh, life's temptations of the financial prosperity is what I'm getting here, like with this, with the coins in the box. It's like you deserve to have that treasure at the end of the day because you put in a lot of hard work. People see you as a hard worker. If you have done any collaborations with anybody, people see that with the three of pentacles um, or people kind of see the clients you work with or something along those lines with the three of pentacles or they think that you're just someone that has good values where you know how to work well with different aspects of the self. So for example, let's say you have two different talents or two different strengths. You know how to bring them together to make something good. Or let's say you are a small business owner, for example, and you not only have to create the content, but you also have to juggle, um, you know, like answering messages from clients you're doing both extremely well and balancing out the two. That's what I mean by that. Where you're working with yourself in one team, but you're doing extremely well. So we have seven of pentacles. Some people may think that you are tempted to work very hard and that you're a very hard worker, that you believe in your own magic with the fairy here. Even with the unicorn hunt, it's like whatever blessings are going to come to you, they're very magical. And I feel here, you know, people may think you're a little bit of a workaholic, but that's only people that are not used to seeing someone that is very determined to reach their goals. Maybe they're like people that are not really serious about their goals, so then they think it's a little bit weird. Um, but if you get to a stage in your life where whatever it is you're doing grows, I would highly recommend if you can, like for example, let's say you have a small business and you have many things to run on your own. If you can, getting someone to help you out there and delegate those tasks to even if you have to hire someone and pay a little bit extra, it is going to do you very well because then you'll have time to focus on things that are more of a priority to you. But again, th this is just my advice to you. You don't have to follow it. You always have free will. We have the fortunes wheel. So as I said, it's like people see you as you're meant to be doing this, whatever you're doing, and your decisions are leading to something good in the end. Like, well, you have a very big fate and purpose and you're going to be extremely blessed in this lifetime. We have the messenger of water. People think that your intentions towards this aren't bad. Like, you aren't going to this with the intentions of 
something negative or bad. So for example, let's say you're a content creator. You're not just doing it because, for example, you want money and abundance. You're doing it because you have a real love for it, because you want to express your creativity. And that in itself is magical. That in itself is powerful, no matter how small it may seem. No matter, even if it's like you're one person in a million doing the same thing, it's magical and it's going to grow. Because I'm looking at the seahorse here and it kind of reminds me of those creatures. Um, I don't know what they're called, but they're like sea creatures. They're not really sea creatures. You throw them in water and then they grow bigger. I had it as a child. I don't know what they're called, but it reminds me of that. So whatever you're doing now, it may seem small, but it's going to grow bigger over time. And with Messenger of Water, it's like you're doing this from your heart. You're expressing this from your heart, not from a place of greediness. But some people that are very insecure and jealous may see you as very greedy with temptation here. Okay, we have the Ten of Water, Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Fire, Ten of Wands. People think you're very busy with whatever you're doing. Like, you're very busy. You're putting in a lot of time and effort to get your... <laughs> Ace of Swords and the Unicorn. That's that's not a coincidence, pile number three. I didn't even look at your cards when I shuffled. So quite interesting. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so some people think that they're that you're actually not like this loving person you come across as. But I don't think that's true. I think they're just jealous with the Seven of Swords. I think they're just tempted and they want what you have. And they're kind of like projecting their own things onto you. So they're kind of thinking of like, if I was in this position, I wouldn't be doing it from a place of love. I'd be doing it from a place of temptation. So they're projecting their own things onto you, which is why I'm not even going to put this over the Queen of Cups. Because the Queen of Cups is someone that is a very sensitive soul, someone that feels things very deeply, somebody that does things from their heart, from a place of genuinity and kindness, very empathic and wise and connected to their emotions. And the Queen of Cups wouldn't even hurt a fly. She's a sensitive soul. She's a sweetheart. So whatever they're projecting is from a place of insecurity. We have the High Priestess here. Some of you are intuitives and actually post content where you're helping people spiritually on some type of platform. Some of you could be YouTubers where you are actually readers or Reiki healers or something like that is coming through here or any kind of spiritual work is coming through too. Some of you could be doctors too or lawyers or could be helping the world in some way from your heart, from your place of wisdom with the high priestess and it's very magical to see. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Hierophant. I feel like these people that are looking at you from a place of jealousy and, um, you know, like projecting their own things, they leave feeling very angry at the fact that you have what they want or that you are having the potential to have what they want. But I think they're in this place where they're not working towards that or putting in the work because if they actually put in the work, they could have their treasure too. Look at the treasure here in the Eight of Cups. So... Let me just show it to you quickly. So there's something here about this is a lesson for them. Um, kind of mirroring back to them what they're projecting out into the world. And it's like because they're envious and jealous of your potential or your talents or your gifts or the blessings you could already or that you could already have or that you could potentially have. It's a lesson for them to look internally and see what it is that they desire and how they can create those desires within their own life so that they don't have to operate in this place of envy. But this is not part of the reading. This is my opinion. <laughs> They're probably too lazy to do that. Like, this is not spirit talking. This is me. But anyways, 
Um, we have the Magician. We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, like they're kind of operating in this place of fear. I don't know why the energy keeps coming up. We have the Moon. The Page of Cups. So I feel like you're going to create a lot for yourself. You're going to create a lot of blessings for yourself through this. That's what people think of you. A lot of happiness, joy, and internal fulfillment with your relationship to whatever you're creating here. People think your relationships are also naturally going to flourish because you are such a loving sweetheart. But people also think you're going to create a lot in terms of your creativity that's going to help you stay in this flow-like state, help you stay in the state of gratitude for life and happiness and joy for life, where you're never going to feel like whatever you're doing is making you tired. It's going to keep filling you up with passion and creativity and this kind of childlike joy for life with the Page of Cups. Okay, we have Strength. We have Love. Eight of Swords. The Empress. The Four of Wands. So people really think you're going to celebrate and grow and reach a place of abundance and you know if you continue to courageously put yourself out there and do what it is you love you have a lot of strengths and talents within this and although the outcome may seem hidden right now although we are kind of like in the unknown where we don't know what's going to happen next if you continue going you're going to reach a place of celebration that's what a lot of people think of this we have the eight of pentacles the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. I feel a transformation in the sacral chakra. So I feel like whatever you are doing, people are noticing you come back to this place of self-love because you've always been very loving to others, but something has changed within your energy where your energy is becoming a lot more brighter and happier and fun and playful and full of life force energy, full of creativity. It's very juicy and delicious, but not in a sensual way. It's not in that way. It's like, it's like a kind of lust for life, if that makes sense. I don't know why I'm using those words, but it's just coming to me. Finding the color in life again. So you've always been a soft and gentle hearted person. But I think you're now giving that gentleness to yourself, building up your confidence within yourself and realizing that you are worthy of all these things you want to bring into your reality and birth into your reality here with the Empress. This treasure is yours. Look how many treasures are in the cards. And you're bound to find it. Imagine yourself like you're already halfway on this pirate ship. You're already halfway there to X marks the spot and you're going to find that treasure. The Nine of Pentacles. And even if it's not treasures, like, yeah, like you can find financial treasures within life, but you're also going to find the treasures of life, things that are very important to you, things that are going to make you very grateful for life. So I feel like when people look at your social media, they're kind of like rooting for you, hoping that you have success then there are like very few waiting for you to fall, but that's not going to happen. Never. King of Swords and even failure is never really failure. It's just a stepping stone to success for us to gain more wisdom when we truly do have that success. King of Cups, the Fool, the Chariot, the Messenger of Air, and I'm going to take two more cards. The King of Wands and the Sun card. So I feel here, I also see King of Pentacles popping out. 
I feel here, there's this energy here of you reaching that place of financial abundance. Like I said before, people see that potential for you to create that success for yourself, for you to really shine in your talents and gifts, for you to really reach this place of abundance and happiness and level up. Um, but I think people also think of you as someone that speaks from a place from your heart, someone that like does things from a place from your heart and you know, people see you as this very free-spirited person, someone that is very grateful for whatever it is you have right now. And I think people also see you as someone very emotionally balanced, very intelligent and smart and determined, yet creative at the same time, yet wise at the same time and intuitive at the same time. And you're going to continue to go towards this. I think people are supporting you and rooting for you. Um, and I feel like people are wanting to see the changes happen from these decisions you've made. But people are also hoping that you take care of yourself as you move towards that. And people are also thinking that lately it looks like a lot of doors are going to open for you. Lately you look to be this very positive, happy person. And it's like the color is coming back to your life. The spark. Um, of passion is coming back to your life because even as I'm reading your cards it's like the cards are becoming more colorful where it almost feels trippy and this is going to sound weird but I'm clairvoyant my pal threes so like when I read energies things can change in the energies where I clairvoyantly see it even though I'm in the physical but it's literally like your cards are so bright where I feel like you're going to be so bright like the sun. People are going to need sunglasses to look at you. Like you're kind of that person that spreads positivity and joy everywhere you go. And people feel into that joy when they look at your social media. They feel that. They feel your passion for life. They feel how colorful you are as a person. And I really feel that strong energy of a new beginning here with the fool. So this is why I'll leave your reading pile three. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading.